Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Rebrand Project. I'm Psycho again with you today, and in this one, we're going to be going through one of the racing classics, MotoGP 17. As far as we know, there have been racing games, sports games, everything that includes this genre released almost every single year. But did they fix it? Did they not fix it? Well, let's just get into it and we'll see. So, as you know, MotoGP 17, a version of the MotoGP released in 2017, and the continuation of the whole series. Um, I don't think 18 was released after that, but there was definitely 19, but we're going to get to that later on. So, there's pretty much not a lot to say about this one, as far as the gameplay and everything goes. I mean, it is a classic sports game. Um, especially as it involves racing. It's pretty much a racing game um, which takes you throughout the official tracks and bikes, teams, everything of the MotoGP back in 2017. You are going to be playing against some of the characters that have been made after real life personas as you. Um, and you can also pick to be one of the real life personas to pretty much race throughout the game. Um, <clears throat> as far as the whole gameplay goes, it's not a long gameplay. I mean, the whole game takes about, I don't know, 10 hours to complete, something like that. Um, which is a good amount. It's a decent amount for a game. Um, it doesn't get boring, it still keeps you in the, um, how should we call it, in the fun part of it. And pretty much gives you the experience of being a MotoGP racer and going through the official tracks that were made after the um, after the real-life scans of the tracks. Um, there's not much to say about it except for the part where... Well, not much to say about the gameplay except for the part where you can actually customize your bike, upgrade it, go on different tracks, take different riders, um, and do... I mean, do a lot of stuff. You're probably going to be playing as your own rider, and in quick mode, you can pretty much pick any of them. You can play as one of the famous MotoGP racers um, throughout the history of the game. Um, but the part that was upgraded from the previous games is the managerial career, which was added to the MotoGP 17 to pretty much give you an experience of what it is to be a manager for the MotoGP team. You're going to be going on and off the track as a manager. Um, pretty much, you're going to try to make the right choices for your team and also as on the track as well as off of it to pretty much win the championship, get through everything and become, well, the best manager out there to pretty much get through, get through the game. As we can see, the whole of the um, the racing, uh, how shall we call it, the racing tracks have been added to the game, and the videos that are featured inside are one of the most beautiful I've ever seen. Um, you can pretty much, before you go into the game, you will kind of see where you are going and how the track looks, how the country where the track is located is, and how the city, it, um, the city where it's located is. And it's amazing. It's just great. Um, to get to see everything before you go into the track and race through it is a sort of a cool experience. Um, it kind of gives you the feeling that you're really there, um, even before you go race through it. As I said, the tracks were made after the official, um, after the official tracks. And you have uh, training modes as well as qualifications and the race after that. Um, as far as the graphics go and the kind of lagginess of the gameplay, there aren't many issues with it actually. It's a very smoothly running game, especially on newer PCs, um, which is not a surprise since the requirements for the game um, for that time were not that high. Um, if we look at the recommended ones, the higher ones, yes, they were a bit higher, but still not as high as some of the other games released back then. Just because they, I think they wanted to make a smoother gameplay, 
because of it being a sports game and everything. So, I'm going to recommend this game to all of you sports fans, all of you MotoGP fans, all of you racing games fans, and, I mean, just people who like to, I don't know, deal with this stuff and include in it. Um, it is an amazing game that you should play. You should check out the normal mode, the quick race mode, the championship mode, the managerial mode, and see which of it fits you best. You can, also, you can even just play the managerial mode to see how you would be as a manager without even much racing. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be all from my side for this one. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and join me in the next one.